there was a fridge here in this room that we never even knew about. We just went ahead and moved. <laughs> This is the fridge that we've been waiting for. It's working. It's working? Yeah. There you go. That's for you, coach. <laughs> okay, we took it from that room and we brought it all the way over here because that's how you do things in Czech Republic. You want something done, you gotta do it yourself. We may have lost today, but right now... We want a fridge. We want a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Let's go! Oh, man. It's hard vlogging when it's not always positive and it's not always motivating and things are going the way you want them to it's actually a lot harder but you know what we're gonna keep going we're here we're invested we have faith we're gonna work our asses off that's for sure worst case scenario we party in Prague One, two. thought we would change things up today shopping with Chris in the supermarket he's got What's his up? he's got his little hey. basket there so cute <laughs> Thought we would get out, change up the scenery a little bit, see what's going on outside of the direct vicinity of our hotel. Feels like we've been uh, kind of stranded there for days and days at a time. And we need some veggies. And super we need some. Important. That's right. Veggies are super important. Actually, Chris is our physiotherapist. He's the guy who picks us up. Actually, Chris, I'm gonna need you to take a look at my. Uh, my you neck, are? My, my neck later. You've been uh, too much uh, vlogging? Or? That's right. Yeah, I need, I need you to actually just <laughs> check that out. He has his bed and all of his gear. So he's been taking care of the boys before, after the games. Just fixing them up, bandages, muscle work, bone stuff. Muscle just prep too. Muscle prep, activation too. A day in the life of a physiotherapist right now, guys. Special treat for you actually. <laughs> what does a physiotherapist eat? I love those cherry tomatoes. <laughs> I've always been a fan. <laughs> He loves those cherry tomatoes. My he parents can. actually have a huge garden. I don't know, not raising, but what do you call it? Growing? Raising. Uh, ra raising yeah, uh, no, cucumbers? No. Cherry tomatoes. Yeah, I used to, as a kid, like each, like, I don't know, a hundred a day, man. Wow. I could I could eat some nonstop. Nice. Is that why you have, you're a bit red? Yeah. Your no, complexion? that's a tan. Oh, okay. It's called a tan. Hey, I'm white, eh? It's my version of a tan. <laughs> I was blessed with the olive, he's blessed with the cherry tomato. <laughs> but we're both vegetables at the end of the day. <laughs> so this supermarket is pretty cool actually. They have a huge alcohol section, which is something that is actually pretty tempting at the moment, but we're gonna wait for that. Maybe grab a few. Who's gonna wait for that? Uh, 790. The beer here is 50 cents. It's incredible. <laughs> I, I tasted one of the restaurants and I loved it. I took a picture. You're committed. You're committed yeah, to your I beer. Am. I'm committed to Great beer. <laughs> so it's Staro. Oh right. Staro Pramen. Staro Pramen. Staro Pramen. So we have to find that. That's a Staro Pramen. If you ever watch this ever in your lifetime, ever, if the universe brings somebody to this vlog, Christopher Let, please uh, send them a case of Staro Pramen. Staro Pramen. 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 Wait, second check. <laughs> We have Pramen. Taro Pramen. Taro Pramen. Please hook up Chris. He's a great guy. He loves your beer. Yeah. Shout out to Chris. <laughs> That's where I got my uh, fitness bars. That was the rice cakes over there. And then chips is down here. This is chocolate. More chocolate. Mmm. $8.90. That's uh, 50 cents? Uh, yeah. That's a little pricey. That's a little pricey for our taste right now. That's 60 cents for the beer. So we might as well try it. So we might as well try it. I like that logic. Man, we are on day six right now of this trip. I lose track of time. I don't know. Monday. What? It's not we, Monday. We're Monday? Yeah, we're Monday. I don't even know anymore. Like, <laughs> I'm just taking it one day at a time, one game at a time. Chris and I are actually in the same boat. We are a part of the team, but we're staff. We support the team in different ways. But we live it differently, let's say that. We live it differently. We're going through this a lot differently than, than, than what people think. It's still been pretty challenging, actually. Even though we're not playing, per se, uh, we have to support in, in, in different ways. <gasps> <laughs> One and only. Oh my god. Let's get that. Oh my god. Do I take the whole box? It's on special, guys. 20, 20 times half a liter. Do we have enough for the rest of the trip? Or? Let's do it. Chris is a great guy, man. I'm happy he came on this trip. I think a lot of the guys actually have been getting a lot closer to this trip. Another one. I don't know. 1390. That's the prices we've seen. That's like 80 cents. <laughs> I don't know about that, guys. I don't know about that. We're not making that much money. Oh, there's some more here. Chris doesn't play around. We got broccoli, tomatoes, we got cucumber, and we got seven <laughs> types of beer. 
All right, you just you need balance in your life, guys. All right, you just gotta balance it out. We're right. eating meat and tons of carbs. That's yeah, all we've been eating. Carbs. Yeah. So we don't need carbs. We need veggies and party time after. That's True. what we need. True. Yeah. Oh, there you go. The amount of beer they have in this like little grocery store is incredible and mildly unsettling. But that's all right. I'm not much of a beer drinker myself. I'm more of a whiskey type man. Meat. Oh, we have a little bit more choice. We're going out of the bigger market beers. Ever seen those? Hobgoblin. The Trooper. Fine. What's that? Ruby beer? That's from, that's, from, that's from England. Is it? Premium British beer. Oh, nice. I love the white beers and the... What is this? That's like me when I say, I'll just have one beer tonight. <laughs> now that we have a fridge, it's going to be awesome. This oh, yeah. That's Wait, you didn't talk about them? The no, fridge? I didn't. Well, Who actually, you guys saw the aftermath of me and Coach stealing the fridge from that yeah, room. It's so, heavy to roll. This is the life of a traveling physiotherapist with Team Lebanon. Lots of vegetables and lots of alcohol. I'm all about trying. It's for science. It's all for science. That's true. It's all for research, guys. <laughs> to my story we get back to the hotel room and we notice that the door is open there's like a two-bedroom suite there when we arrive like 30 guys arriving at this hotel there's like nobody there we're like the only ones that are checking in and we're like yo can we get a fridge please can we just a small one like a mini fridge or something like the boys they would they have stuff to store things need to stay cold and they said no fast forward six days me and coach are coming back to the hotel we crack that door open and we notice this huge suite and we see a fridge nobody was in it though the room was empty coach is like let's take this I'm like, coach, no, you're joking. We just came off of a loss today against Armenia, and I think coach was feeling a little bit re rebellious. So I was like, coach, I'm, I'm in. I'm in, I'm, I'm with you all the way, through thick and thin, coach. Whatever you need from me. But I thought he was kidding, though. Like, I literally thought he was joking. <laughs> he starts lifting it, and coach isn't a tall guy. Like, come on, <laughs> coach, I love you, but you're five feet. So I lift it, and coach opens the door for me. We start getting this thing out of the room, and we're, like, hurrying because we hear the cleaning lady coming, and I, like, toss it into his room. <laughs> And then we close the door and coach plugs it in. We realize that it works. And now we're buying beer. That's just how it works, guys. You want something, you gotta go get it. You gotta go get it yourself. You want something, get it. Chris here just talking about vlogging how I feel about it and how it's been going so far and I was just telling him how fun it can be how nervous it is as well I'm not exactly the most out there all the time contrary to popular belief although I am extroverted I do have a lot of introverted tendencies and qualities I think that they're qualities they're not being an introvert is not a bad thing at all I do get nervous and people do look all in all as long as you're having fun doing it and one thing that really helps me is including others in the vlog because then I'm not just a guy staring around. at the yeah staring at the lens and the feedback too the feedback helps definitely I've been getting a lot of really good feedback from you guys a lot of love a lot of support it is a lot of work it's not just you know holding a camera up and talking to it it's it's really trying to create something that will add value in the best way that I know how to how to add it so I appreciate you guys so much as always I love this journey I'm having an incredible time way more to come for sure looking forward to it <laughs> hey big shout out to Chris for accompanying me today on this vlog this is a lucky loose and Chris, we need actually, we need a YouTube name for you. A YouTube name? Yeah. What do you guys think Chris's YouTube name should be? Let's see. Physio, chronic, bone, muscle. My Instagram is Chris Let PT, but it, it's pretty standard, right? It's just my name and PT. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chris. I think your YouTube name should be Calisthenic Chris. I don't know. know. Calisthenics. Calisthenics. Sorry, I even said it wrong. So Cali Chris. Cali Chris. Yeah. Uh, it makes me think of California and I want to go. What about Baby Chris for Baby Tomatoes? Cherry. Cherry Chris. Cherry Chris. It's over. That's it. I love it. Cherry Chris it is. Bye, guys. Let's